Hello to all of my beautiful souls out there. So in today's video, I'm going to show you my must-have and essential beach vacation products, which are for the body, for the face and also for the hair. So if you're interested to see what those are, then you should definitely keep on watching. So let's start off with my favorite products for your body, because, you know, your whole body has to be silky smooth. So I wanted to start off with a few body lotions that I usually use after I took a shower in the evening when I'm on vacation. So I usually use this body lotion right here. It's the Jean and Len uh, Cardamom Tonka. I don't know, this is like, I don't even know if this is like a worldwide thing or just a German thing, but it has something written on here in English. Um, I think that's French and also um, Korean. I don't know, you guys let me know what language it is. Okay, it's not focusing, but this is my number one go-to. It's also not only a vacation kind of body lotion, but a all year around kind of body lotion, so. But this one works especially very well after you've been out in the sun for the whole day and your skin feels a little dry after you take a shower. So it's very moisturizing and amazing. I also love the smell of it a lot. So the next body lotion that I like to use on vacation is this uh, Dior J'adore Les Sublimes. Sublime? I don't know. I don't speak French. This one is also my favorite. But first of all, I love that this body lotion is like in a little bottle like this. So you definitely have a lot of space in your suitcase even if you pack this one. It's not like with this one, this is like huge in comparison to this one. So I usually go back and forth. It depends on how much clothes I have with me. So if I do have some room left, I usually take this one. But if not, then this does the job quite well too. It also lasts for quite a long time because um, it's, you don't need too much of it. It's so like, it pretty much is like milk. So it's a milky consistency and it basically just moisturizes your skin in a perfect way. So Dior, if you was ever about to see this video, please, I need 14 of them, 14,000 of them, cause I love it. I also love the smell of it, obviously. So these are the two body lotions that I love to take on vacation with me. So when I'm done with my body lotion and it all soaked into my skin, I then go in with some body oil. I love the smell of the Coco Chanel uh, Mademoiselle perfume and that's why I also got the oil version because I love oil and I also think that you smell a lot longer once you put like oil on your skin and this is the... it's basically... Oh, <laughs> it's also broken. Um, no, it wasn't closed well enough but what I love about this is once I put it on in the evening I still smell like this perfume and this oil like the whole of the next day this is definitely quite cool especially because of the perfume in there soaks into your skin and kind of wears off so once you're in contact with the sun it like does not burn your skin which I love um, and yeah I would much rather use an oil than a perfume on vacation because it's just I feel like it's better for my skin. Another oil that I love to use on vacation is my Rituals oil. This has like some golden shimmer to it, especially when your skin is like all bronzy. I love to put this on in the evening. And the cool part about this is that you will still be glittery like the next day. So when you look at this product like just as it comes in the bottle and if you even shake it, it has like, it looks like all crazy and it has like all this glitter in it. But once you put it on the skin, it's not as glittery as you might think. So keep that in mind. If you want to look like a disco ball, then this probably is not for you. This is like quite natural and subtle and I just love it, especially when I have a tan. So another holy grail product. The only downside to it, I don't really enjoy the smell of it. I used to, but I don't do now. So I usually combine these two and this smells way stronger. So I basically never smell this. I just smell my little mademoiselle moment, which I really, really like. And to stay in this whole body lotion, body skin kind of theme, I also wanted to show you my favorite sunscreen for my vacation. So my favorite sunscreen is this one right here. It's the uh, Premium Sun Care V Sun Hello Sunshine. It's SPF 50. I love it. I love it. 
it's amazing. I just, oh, I love it so much. So this is basically what I use the whole time when I'm at the beach. I use it multiple times. Um, it's amazing. It soaks in quite fast. You don't have like this little white stain on your skin. I'm the kind of person I'm not able to use like regular sunscreens like from the drugstore. I don't know if this is a drugstore brand but it's a little bit more expensive but not too much. I think sunscreens are kind of always expensive but this does not react with my skin and I love it. I also got it for my face so it's like this little set right here. You have one for the body and one for the face. I got two of each so that I would just have enough on vacation with me because I'm a big sunscreen person and also sorry if the light changes I'm using natural light again as always so I'm sorry about that but yeah this is my favorite sunscreen I if you have it in your country then please try it out because it's amazing so since we have now transitioned to the um, face products. So my all-time favorite moisturizer is this Super Aqua Cell Renew Snail Essential Moisturizer. I, I think I talked about this one so much and so often because it is so good and I love it and I think it's perfect for vacation because it really does moisturize your face and it also protects it from the sun, from everything. It, I think it also has like SPF in it, I'm not too sure. Well, I'm also not relying on this with my SPF. I mean, as already mentioned, I do have my beach SPF. So this is my beach SPF only. I just wanted to quickly mention that. I take this with me on the beach and basically reapply the whole time. But in the morning when I wake up, I usually use this because it's just so refreshing and cooling and amazing on the face. And then I put my um, SPF on top. This one is the Beauty of Joseon Relief Sunrise Plus Probiotics. It has SPF 50 in it and I basically use these two products in the morning when I wake up. That's how I walk out and go to the beach. And once I'm at the beach, I'm using this like to reapply the sunscreen and stuff. So another essential product for me when I go to the beach and when I'm at the beach is this Kylie Skin Lip Butter. I also talked about this quite a lot in a few of my videos and it's amazing. I just love it because it's moisturizing. It's also protecting your skin. It's supposed to hydrate and protect your lips. And I just love it. It's amazing and cannot rave enough about this. So since we've been talking a lot about sunscreen for your skin, for your face, for your body, I think it's also important to keep your hair in mind. And that's why I love this little spray right here. It's the Sun Reflex UV Protect Spray. I basically use it all the time whenever I'm on vacation. I even use it when I'm at home because it's important to also protect your hair from this like bright sun at the beach where it's warm. And this is why I love to use this product right here. Also, please keep in mind, don't forget your hair. I've been also thinking about taking a few leave-in hair masks um, like with me on vacation this year just to put it in my hair while I'm basically at the beach and sunbathing and all this good stuff. So I, would, I will probably double protect my hair this year, but I will keep you updated. Okay, and now moving on to a few of my favorite hair accessories and basically head pieces uh, that I love to take on vacation with me. So starting off would definitely be a little hair clip like this. I mean, it does not have to be the exact one but you get you get the idea so i love this because i'm the kind of person i don't like when my hair is in my face especially when it's wet so i usually just clip it up and like have this little thing on my hair and i think it's a little bit better for my hair than to use like a regular hair tie. and yeah that's why this is a very very essential for me but another very important essential product for me would be sunglasses i love to take these but I have a few sunglasses these are just to show some sunglasses sunglasses very important don't have to tell you that but yeah sunglasses for show I also love to take this little hat with me just to protect myself from the Sun you know and it's cute it's perfect it's quite small you can fit it everywhere amazing I somehow I always forget to take it but I'm planning on and I got a little better at it but yeah 
So I also really, really, really love some headbands and stuff. So I got these and also some like fabric ones that you can just basically put in your hair and you have your hair out of your face. And these are also quite essential for me because it can get quite windy at the beach sometimes. And I just love to not have my hair in my face, especially especially when I have this little lip butter going on. I don't want my hair stuck to my lips, so... Okay, so um, for the last item that is quite essential for me at the beach would be my journals. I love to take my journals and just write something in there because I'm the kind of person I love to be at the beach. I'm also the kind of person who likes to think about life at the beach and I'm also very appreciative when I'm at the beach. I mean, I'm always appreciative, but when I'm at the beach and I see like the ocean, I kind of, it's just, it just doubles. I'm just so grateful to live in that moment right there and then. And that's why I always have my journals with me just to write down some thoughts that I have, to look back on it and remember. And also my five minute journal, which is all about gratitude and I, love it. These are basically all of my essential items that I love to take on a beach vacation with me. I really hope you could find some inspiration right here and also find some new products that you might try out. So thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you liked it. If you did, please don't forget to put the thumbs up and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. I appreciate every single one of you guys and I would be more than happy to take you along on this journey with me and yeah it just really helps me out so with that being said thank you so much and until next time bye you guys i was just about to clean up this whole mess that i've created but look at them they're always supporting me when i'm filming they're my emotional support cats this is misa and this is my little sima it's not focusing on her she's sleeping currently like in between all of the mess that i've made but yeah, these are my little cute kitties. I just love them so much.